Hello everybody, Kevin Shortell here with another quick video blog for you. One of the questions I get over and over again is, do you think we're stalling? Do you think there's going to be a decrease in real estate prices? Are we set up for another crash? What's going on? What can we expect to see? Well, as a note investor, we are concerned about that as well, although we build in a bigger buffer because we can buy deals at a better discount than almost every technique in just more traditional real estate at the market at this time but we're still in the real estate business. So we have to be sensitive to these issues. So here's some new reports that just came out. In fact, this one just came out February 5th, their 2019 report. It does report back at the end of 2018. So you can see just a couple highlights there from CoreLogic. Annual average price growth in 2018 was 5.8% with an annual average price growth forecast to be decreased down to about 3.4%. So they are predicting a slowdown in price appreciation on single family homes throughout the United States. After peaking in March, December marked the ninth consecutive month of deceleration uh, annual housing pricing index growth in the U.S. So this has been nine months of kind of slowly pressing on the brakes. So not necessarily a bad thing. Some markets certainly got overvalued and that continues today. So here's a chart that they had. This is the percentage of change year over year in their uh, in the national home price changes. So you can see in December, 4.7% increase December uh, 18th uh, uh, percentage wise. But again, look at that nine year stretch that they were talking about there where it's really kind of flattened out versus what happened in 2004 through 2009 and everything else. So we are starting to see that decrease out there. So I'd rather see a nice slow down deceleration in this case than obviously the big uh, dip. But again, that depends, I guess, how you are choosing to invest and when you do that. But talking about overvalued markets, you can see they named several of them here that just grew too rapidly. Prices going up too quick. Look at Las Vegas. Boy, did they rebound. They got hit hard and rebound. They'll probably get hit hard again if things do take a turn. And you can see that they are overvalued. Now, they, they looked at what's the disposable income versus prices and everything else to come up with that determination uh, there. Surprisingly, L.A., uh, Long Beach area was uh, considered normal appreciation at 4.5% there. But look at some of these other overvalued areas. Some of those will be no surprise to you, San Francisco. Even though they had a small year-over-year -year change, they've just been so inflated over the uh, over the years as well. So it does, yes, indicate that we are in a slowdown. Look at this, existing home sales. Okay? All this is from uh, Wolf Street through a National Association of Realtors, but you can see that there's been that steady decrease in existing home sales. Okay, so uh, this is another indicator that things are slowing down. And remember, wages haven't kept up with home appreciation as well. L uh, loan prices have gone up because increase uh, uh, increases in interest rates. So we are dealing with those issues, but. They do get a little dimmer on some of these uh, statistics here. Existing home sales, again, you can see low since May of 2015, which is right in the center here, and that's about where we are. So big drop-off uh, came towards the end of this year. But look at this. Uh, uh, the accelerating drop in sales in the Northeast accelerated uh, 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 drop 6.8% negative. Midwest, a negative 10.5, South 5.4, and West 15%. So again, this is the acceleration drop in sales and existing homes in those areas. So this is not regional anymore. This is on a, on a national scale here. I always take notes of the West and the Midwest because that is a tendency to start to travel East across the United States. And you can see, once again, the, the, the biggest uh, deceleration, I guess we could say, is in the West, moving towards the Midwest, and then northeast and the south. Medium home prices that have been affected, the northeast still rose in prices, fewer sales, fewer inventory, prices went up 8.2% year per year at 283. Midwest flat 191,000, south rose uh, a little bit, 2.5% uh, year over year with a 224,000 as the uh, medium home price and the west essentially flat year over year at 374,000. So yes, we are absolutely seeing deceleration and that could cause some problems. This is probably the scariest chart of all of these, which is this. Look at the housing bubble, the run-up that we had here from 2000 up to 2007, and everything started to fall apart 2008. You could see property values that by 2012, uh, 
uh, have dropped a negative 27%, but what a nice climb up here to 2018. Uh, and uh, again, are we facing, because of that rapid increase in value again, are we facing a potential housing bubble too? Now, I didn't put that on there. That's done by the folks at, at Wolf Street. This was a CoreLogic uh, case Schiller uh, graph, but it is very interesting to see that run up. So we want to see a, a deceleration, which we're seeing. So hopefully we don't have that big drop, but Real estate, like the stock market right now, really is mostly overvalued across the board. So be careful, invest well, and make sure you do your due diligence. And if you're a real estate investor, really start to take a look at the real estate note business because it can build in more cushion and more safety for you. This has been Kevin Schwartel. Look forward to talking to you again.